Hey ladies and gentlemen, once again, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and today we are going to tear down and talk about the Pelco PTZ camera. I deal with these a lot, I install these a lot in the various factories I'm at. This is a Pelco camera that you can manually make it look in different directions. The only problem we ever really had with it was that after it moved into a, a certain direction for a certain amount of time, I think it was about a half hour, it moved back. It's... Anyways, we just upgraded. We didn't want to... We didn't want to need a bigger Phillips head. We would rather just upgrade than uh, find a way to use what we got, I guess. Here we go, third try is a charm. Anyways, these days, everyone's going for the 360s. The 360 cameras. Those 360 fisheye lens, those things are pretty crazy. I mean, remember back in the day, you always used to hear, oh yeah, we caught you on camera, but when you look at the video, it was very potato quality. Not very good. So... Of course, you gotta have your three security torxes to pop that off, and it'll pop right off. Then, of course, Phillips said unscrews that. All of these Pelcos have this lid. From right here, you can. This is where you set the focus. So, yeah, that's the focus. And then, of course, I never actually had to mess with these buttons myself. ABF, so the menu, up, down, left, right. I think that's all the, the of the motherboard that we have. I think that's the whole motherboard right there. So let's pop that off and see what it looks like. Looks like I gotta get back to the small Phillips again. Okay. Once again, too small. So big the unit needs its own power supply it looks like. Actually let's see if I can get this motherboard off. So it disconnects from uh, here and here. Come on, autofocus. There we go. Capacitors.
go. That's the guts of the unit. And that's the teardown, ladies and gentlemen. Anyways, if you like teardowns, like and subscribe. Lots more of this good stuff coming your way. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.